Russian NS-32 ME engagement radar system on an NA-83 ME teller track vehicle, a four-tube missile launcher vehicle system, slowly make their way along a dirt track somewhere in eastern Ukraine. The 9A83 ME Teller is holding four NM83 missiles fitted with a semi-active radar homing guidance system. A 7.5 meter long, 0.5 meter wide two-stage missile system capable of targeting aircraft at 75 kilometers. The Russian soldiers are on combat alert duty. The vehicles are part of a Russian S-300V long-range surface-to-air defence missile system, which also incorporates the 9A82 Teller, a two-tube missile launcher vehicle. The 9A82 Teller holds two 9M82 giant missiles, a heavier, longer-range missile. This Teller vehicle, shown here, is making its way to a new found position. The 9M82 missile is 10 metres long, 0.5 metres wide, and can target aircraft at 100 kilometers. The S-300V system uses 9M83 Gladiator missiles and 9M82 Giant missiles to target enemy ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, drones and aircraft. The design of the missiles is unified to the maximum extent possible, the main differences being the application of a more powerful launch stage on the 9M82. Both missile variants carry a 150kg fragmentation warhead with inertial guidance systems and semi-active radars. The missiles are each guided by the 9S32ME multi-channel engagement radar system combined with each teller vehicle tracking each missile launched by its illuminator radar. This is the long-range VHF surveillance radar, the Nebo SVU. It has a potential range for detecting low-flying aircraft or objects of 380km and it's understood to be able to search for flying objects at high altitude over 100 kilometers away. It is this system given concern to Western military forces and of course Ukrainian missile and air forces. It uses VHF wavelengths with an effective method for detecting the radar signature of all aircraft, especially stealth aircraft and stealth airborne weapons. When the Nebo SVU long-range radar tracks an object, it relays the information to a command vehicle which assesses the potential target. If an enemy target is identified, the command vehicle orders the 9S32ME multi-channel missile guidance radar to launch missiles. The launch data is immediately sent by an integrated data link system to the best place teller launch vehicles. There could be as many as six launcher vehicles placed within a 10 mile area. The launcher could be either 9A83 Teller with the shorter range missiles or NA82 Teller firing the longer range missiles. The Teller vehicle will track the missile with its fire control paraboloid illuminator radar. The 9S32 ME grill screen vehicle engagement radar helps guide missiles towards the target. It can guide up to 12 missiles simultaneously engaging up to 6 targets at once. The Russian soldiers have identified enemy targets and are preparing to launch S-300V long-range surface-to-air defence missiles. Дальность 68.
готовность один принял. Готовность один. Надо запустить вывод нагрузку. In Ukraine, reports began late 2022 of S-300 missiles configured for ground attack have struck a number of populated areas. It probably suggests a shortage of other Russian standoff weapon systems and missiles. Ukraine and Russian forces have both seen losses in these weapon systems, including the S-300V system.